Hi folks and welcome to another Bad Gas production. We are getting close to painting our Project Phoenix, the 600 horsepower Trans Am build. And you know what that means? It's time to pick paint and finish colors. What do you do if you need to look beyond chips in a book? Well, stay tuned and I will show you. All right, guys, so you Trans Am's up there on the hoist. As you can see, we've been blocking it uh, with uh, the help of our uh, body guys. So the front clip is mostly blocked. Uh, the tape actually is used to uh, reference the body lines. So uh, anywhere where it's a lighter color has been complete and anywhere where it's darker like down here hasn't been, but uh, that's okay. We wanted to get enough done so that we could take the hood and the fenders off so we can put that shiny motor and transmission here. Whoop, whoop. Transmission. Oh, she's well wrapped. There we go. So we can put the engine and the transmission together for the final time, put her back in the car, and uh, that means we're one massive step closer to paint. Now, the Bad Gas crew tossed around a few ideas when it comes to paint, but we needed to see them on paper, and that's where Ricky came in. Ricky is an absolutely amazing artist with the ability to draw auto compilations from scratch. Sure, he can draw a picture of your car if you send him a photo, but he also has the ability to take your bits and pieces and bring the vision to life. In our case, we sent Ricky pictures of our interior, the wheels that we had chosen, a couple color ideas, and the deco we wanted to use uh, on the hood. And he was able to ask a few questions and bring the whole thing to life. Our 81 Trans Am started life as a black and gold accented car many know from the Smokey and the Bandit films. But we wanted to go a slightly different route, customizing the body color and using uh, the hood decal from a 10th anniversary edition. For interior, we went with a set of seats from an Acura RSX for the front, and then we took our back seats and had them retrofitted to the same material and design uh, so that they kind of all came together. It's mind-blowing watching Ricky bring this car to life on the page. With each stroke of his pen, the photo gets deeper and more lifelike. Absolutely amazing. Hey, well, Ricky finishes up here. Let me tell you how to find him. I'm going to drop his contact details below in the description on this video, but also on the screen here is his Facebook details, and you can also find him on the Insta. So, my opinion is building a car is a process, and in reality a work of art. Very different than the art that Ricky's doing here, 
but still in art form. It typically takes a year to bring a car to life, and along the way, plans change while you lay in bed dreaming of the beast you are making. Having somebody like Ricky involved in your project can accelerate your process and help you really see what you're building. That may set you on the same path you were already on, or it may help you adjust a bit, or it may see you take a totally different path. Either way, the end product you build will be better because of it. So folks, there you have it, a Nardo Gray Trans Am. Let me know what you think about this in the comments, as we're kind of undecided. Uh, Nardo Gray is how we originally envisioned this, but uh, I think we're actually thinking about using a deep metallic blue. Um, so give us some ideas in the comments below. You may shape the future of this build.